Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. <clears throat> so, you know, two people recently um, have, have <laughs> sorry, I just, I laugh sometimes, I know it's not the most mature way to deal with shit, but like, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a coping mechanism, I'm still growing too, so when I'm dealing with things that are like, wow, like that's really going on right here, like, sometimes I laugh. Um, but anyway, so I've had two people recently tell me that uh, Joy is a succubus. Um, and then actually, Hobo also talked about her being Medusa. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you know, I'm starting to do it again. The thing about this all, like all these monsters, all these big uh, villains, all this type of shit, like <clears throat> all these pedophiles, all these people doing all these crimes and all this fucked up shit around the world, um, they're hurting. And they need love, man. <clears throat> it's love that kills a demon, all right? <clears throat> so it's like when I'm seeing this type of stuff, you know, and I've, yeah, I'm, I'm <clears throat> attracted to joy, you know. Uh, there's reasons for everything, you know. And I'm just being, you know, I'm just going to be real because that's just, that's the best way to be in life is to be real. The more that you're not authentic, the more that you put on masks and, and you lie and you be fake and you put out shit that you really ain't about, the more you're fucking cursing yourself, in my opinion, the more you're taking yourself away from love and goodness and energy and <clears throat> harmony. So I'm just going to be real. I think that <sighs> so it's, it's love. That's what these people need. That's what Joy needs. She needs somebody to really to, to really love her and not just the sex because she gives off a ton of sexual energy. And I think that's part of the problem maybe in her life is that she's used sex to as a coping mechanism and i get that because i've used drugs to cope with fucking not knowing what the hell to do with myself and having this this is the thing like when you <clears throat> some human not all not all human beings not all life forms are the same some of us came here with a lot of energy like some of us are just on a whole fucking different spectrum of experience of capability of knowledge of, 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 of energetic like just abilities capabilities whatever the fuck you want to call it and it can be hard for those of us who have this intense desire, this depth that that, that this, this shallow fucking society doesn't really equate to, to live in this place. Because it's like, what the fuck do we do with all this? Like, we have all this passion and all this energy and all these memories and all these desires to do all these things that do not align with this nine to five shit. So it's like, what do you do? You know, and I think this is why I, you know, for myself, I found comfort in drugs because <clears throat> through the drugs i was able to quell my desires i was able to calm down i was able just to fucking you know sit and watch you know shows and movies and listen to music and like i didn't have this crazy like desire to do something more with my life like i, I you know i was quelled i was quieted i was um i was i was killing myself you know so it's like i wasn't very <clears throat> i wasn't really living a life i was just being a zombie you know so <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, the same thing can be with sex. I mean, if you're constantly getting dicked down or fucking getting pussy, you know, every Saturday night or Friday night or multiple times during the week, I mean, that's a constant distraction or not, you're not even, just, yeah, it's a distraction from what you, who you really are. I mean, you're constantly just, you know, having sex just to have sex, just to get this indulgent fucking rush, but it's really not you connecting with somebody based on what you really are. You guys are both just using this moment to help you guys deal with your guys' you know, miseries, really, is, is what a lot of the world is, you know, and I, I've been watching a lot of porno, and it's like these people, like they're not even like really, like they're not even really enjoying the sex that much. I mean, some of them do, like they're not everyone, but a lot of what I see on there is like, it's like, damn, really? Like it's almost like the quality's gone down. Like since I, it's been a while since I watched porn, and now that I'm watching again, first of all, I don't see as much Harry Bush, which I don't like, and I also just don't see as much like passion in the sex. And like the dudes also, like they just seem like there's just a, a lack of a, of, of a zesty for even just them fucking you know, having porno sex. So just in general, like the state of humanity, where we're going is more into this fucking zombie dead state, fucking lack of wanting to live, lack of wanting to love, lack of wanting to take care of ourselves and the world. So, <clears throat> you know, I mean, but I want to be more humble with things, man. I do. I've talked about this power shit. Like, yeah, man, it gets you. Like when you start getting into a place where you feel more powerful and you can do things and people are wanting to look at you and listen to you and, and the, you're influencing people, like it, it fucks with your head. It fucks with your ego, but that's part of the test. So you got to learn how to tame your passions. This is something that I've had issues with, you know, um, anybody, any man, any human being that has passion, I mean, that's, you know, <clears throat> the ability to tame it is going to help you, you know, navigate it in a good and healthy way because passion is great, but passion can also, I mean, you know, people who are passionate who, who are serial killers and who are fucking 
doing evil shit. Like you can be passionate about doing bad stuff too, just like you can be passionate about doing good stuff. So that's why it's important. It's imperative if you want a good and healthy life to be passionate about things in a good way. So, you know, and when I come off too aggressive and mean and hurtful and hateful, like that's not helping perpetuate more love in life. And I know I do have the ability inside myself. It's just me. I just know myself. I have the ability to just exuberate whatever the fuck that word is to give out, to emanate a lot of beautiful light love. Like I love looking at flowers, dude. I know it's strange because I'm a dude and it's like, what, what the fuck is a dude making videos about flowers and, and, and birds and bees and trees and grasses and greens and all these type of, you know, very soft, like lovey dovey. Like they're not the most manly type fucking things you'd see. But again, this is what I think the, I know this is what the world needs right now because we've lost touch with love, man. You know, it's like, this is why people's relationships aren't very loving these days. It's more about a codependency than anything because we've lost touch with love. We're living in a society that does not perpetuate love. It perpetuates a lack of love. It perpetuates the opposite of love. They don't want us making love. When we make love, it fucks them up. They want us having lustful, sinful, like crazy, violent, gross sex. That's what they like. They like all that shit. The, the grosser, the better for them, okay? But that's not what real love is about. That's not what God is about. That's not what real perpetuation of harmony for all things is about. Because the energy that you give off of <laughs> is going to fuck, is going to, you know, change your being. It's going to change the whole environment that you're around. So if you guys are giving off filthy energy, if you're giving off violent energy, it's not really perpetual. I mean, what type of an offspring do you think you're going to have if that's the type of sex you guys have? I mean, you have a kid from that type of experience. I mean, just based on science, you, you got to think like you, you, the offspring's probably is not coming from the best place. So if it's not coming from the best place, it's not going to have the best ingredients to have a, a good and healthy and beautiful best life. But if you're doing things in a beautiful manner, if you're having sex in a beautiful place, if you're having, if you're living a life that's in a harmony with all of life, your offspring is going to have the best opportunity you can to have a beautiful and best wonderful life. So. <clears throat> I guess what I'm saying is, it's like even people like Medusa or any type of these villains out here, they just need love, man. You know, and I'm a firm believer that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So I have faith. Like, wherever I am, whatever the fuck's going on, like, I'm here for a reason. She's there for a reason. Everybody's there where they are for a fucking reason. And I know I have no intention to hurt her. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just here to give the love if that's what she wants. So, all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.